Today we're going to be showing you how to connect up this, which is the Roku LT, TTV, and also how to set it up. Now this is an absolutely brilliant device. This is uh, like a little entertainment uh, unit. Uh, it basically works over your internet and it allows you to do things like watch uh, your Netflix programs and rent movies over Netflix. And there's uh, a loads of different uh, apps in the uh, in the in the store where you can download. Well, they ain't exactly apps; they're more like channels. You download the channels, and uh, there's just loads of different channels on there. You can even get a couple of games for it as well. Uh, some social media stuff as well. So Facebook's on there. Um, photos and uh, like I said, movies, films, music, and all that sort of thing. It is a really cracking device. So. We have done a full review on this, so do check out the link uh, below uh, to see the full review. But today I'm just going to show you exactly how to set this up. Well, I've already got it, uh, the plugged in and, and all that already. Uh, it does connect with a uh, HDMI cable. So you basically put the HDMI cable, plug it into the back. Then the other end of your HDMI cable you stick into the back of your TV. Now, I've already got one uh, device connected for your HDMI, so I need to go to the next available free slot, which in my case is slot number two. And there we go. Well, it looks like I've already uh, turned on my TV, so uh, let's connect in the power to the Roku box. So that's connected up now. Now it'll take a few minutes just to boot up. Uh, as you've seen, you got the uh, this sort of welcome screen pop up now. So just give that a few minutes, and then uh, you come to the uh, the setup installation screen, which really is easy to follow. You basically use the remote that is included, and just basically go through and you know, follow the instructions. It, it really is dead simple to set up. You'd be amazed how, how quick and easy it is to actually set up. Like I said, you basically, you plug in the back, your HDMI cable in, into your TV, let it boot up. Obviously, it takes a couple of minutes for this first bit, and then we come on to the installation screen. Right then, so we're going to get a close-up shot of this to show you now exactly how to uh, set the actual unit up and install it. So. Right now we've got the close-up shot now and we're going to go through the, uh, the installation setup and show you exactly what I mean. It really is really easy. So first of all you need to select your language. In my case it's English. Now it says a complete guide set up in three simple steps. Connect to your network get the latest software and activate your Roku. Again, it's three steps, dead simple. So I'm going to use the remote control and go to uh, continue. Now connecting to your wireless network. Here you basically select which network you want to connect to. Uh, mine's the topping. You get a nice on-screen display which uh, now allows me to enter in my network password. So I'm just going to type it in. Well, once you've typed in your password, you basically now just go down, go down here, and click on connect. So click on connect. So we'll go through like all, all this bit now, connecting and make sure the connection's okay. So making the connection to your wireless network. Green tick which is good, your network, local network, green tick, and the internet, green ticked. So all that's good. Uh, now we need to select the region. So we are in uh, Europe, time zone, United Kingdom, clock format, uh, you can either have 24 hours or 12. Uh, I like to train for myself. Uh, as you can see, the time is automatically uh, correct, so you ain't got to worry about entering the manual time. So uh, we're going to go to next. Setup is complete. Everything looks okay. Now let's get start streaming. 
Now, if your box needs to do an update, it will actually update now uh, before you can actually click on OK. But in my case, I'm already fully up to date, so I've just clicked OK. And uh, that's basically, uh, there ain't a lot now ready to do. I'm already, uh, already set up. I've got a few channels installed, so I can go to uh, settings and have a play around with the settings as you wish. Uh, there is a point in the uh, in the setup where you have to uh, connect uh, your your box up to uh, the internet account. So basically, you would come up to say something like you need to create an account for this uh, Roku box. So you just basically follow the on-screen instructions, uh, sign up to the website. And you just basically link it all in. It's it, it really is dead simple. Unfortunately, I can't show it because I've already got an account set up and it's already been linked. But like I said, it, it's just one extra step that will pop up. It's dead simple. It will just tell you exactly what to do. As you've seen from the rest of the installation, it was really, really simple. So you just basically do the same. And then uh, that's about it. Then once you are got all set up, uh, you got uh, the channel store, so you can go in here, find different channels. So you got like feature, new, uh, most popular. So so on. So you got stuff like Netflix, BBC iPlayer. Uh, you even got uh, Now TV, which is powered by Sky, so you can subscribe to Now TV uh, with Sky. A Plex, which is absolutely brilliant, which I'm going to be doing a review on that soon. Uh, Flickstar, told you Facebook is there. And loads and loads of others. Cartoon Channel, which is a good, a good and it's not bad. And uh, there's just loads. Yeah, you can actually buy channels as well, so you've got paid TV, where you've got like Movie Vault, Dropbox. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how the Dropbox would work here. Yeah. Stream your own videos, music and photos from your Dropbox, so that's exactly how it is. So uh, that's another good thing about this, it tells you exactly what it's all about, or like down here, so I do like it. Uh, films and TVs, as I've already said, you've got uh, games, so you've got different games, there you go. News, weather, sports. Music, as I've already said, you can yeah listen to music and radio stations and so on. Internet TV. So let's quickly show you some of this. So you've got stuff like uh, CNET, Twit, and uh, a few others on there. Uh, photos and videos. So you've got Facebook, Vimeo, Picasa, uh, Flickr. And so on, then you've got international food, special interest, screen savers, original spirits. Yeah, but that's basically how you set up the Roku LT. Really easy, very simple. The on screen instructions are easy to understand. Again, it's really it's a simple setup and three steps you're up and running. So I'm going to leave it there now, guys, and uh, that is how you connect and set up the Roku LT.